Hello, uh, Grotesque Rope here, uh, and welcome to another one of my Defenders of Texel videos. Uh, the event ended um, a couple hours ago, about 17 hours ago. Um, I didn't make it to the top 25. Um, I really didn't um, think it was worth it to push so much. Um, yeah, I was way behind in points, and there's no way. So I decided to skip and just sell my character. Honestly, I probably undersold um, because these things are going for a fortune now. Um, I was expecting them to be worth about 300 nux per legend uh, and then drop from there, but um, that was not the case. Um, but I sold basically my yetis and then just these chicks that I got as quote unquote profit and I was able to buy other stuff. With that being said, I wanted to show current prices of her. Um, it's like 60 nux, 70. Um, you know, this one's been sitting here for a while, but I mean, uh, they have been selling for 65 and more. Uh, definitely more than 60 for sure, or just 60. And real quick, uh, she has like the highest attack uh, in the whole game besides uh, Nebu Star um, and let's see her legend right now is over 400 um, so again I wasn't expecting it but you know oh well you know I'm happy I made my nux uh, you know I sold all my stuff yeah so with prices being said um, I did know I do know I said some of these characters are really good uh, but they're not this good where um, you know, they're warranting some of these prices. Uh, this red chick, she looks great aesthetically. Uh, you know, she looks badass. You know, uh, but price-wise, this is expensive. Like, she's a guru. She's she's great. She's a little bit above decent, but she's not that great. Um, here are her stats. Uh, max from the game itself, the source. Uh, almost 6,000 with some um, 5,000 agility, uh, you know, both respectable stats. Um, I went on the wiki. Uh, another thing I noticed, the wiki is not 100% reliable with data, uh, but it gets pretty close. The main thing to look at is, uh, you know, uh, she auto procs wisdom every turn elite. And like I said before, my main concern on her is the pricing. Right here we see a very similar guru maxed out five out of five ready to go uh, with similar stats very very similar stats so, so I took a screenshot real quick oh so you can see the literal side by side uh, wisdom she's about 200 short um, and then speed um, she's about 200 short as well uh, but very, very similar in um, stat-wise. But, you know, I bought this one and then I sold it later on. I traded for Alderic. Here's another character, very similar. Uh, he has more speed and less wisdom. So, about 1,200 less uh, wisdom, uh, which is a lot. And then, um, he has a little bit more agility uh not a lot by 100 uh but he definitely outspeeds her uh you know that's why he was a little bit cheaper than uh Frasia. but again all these three gurus um you know they're they're pretty good um i'd, I'd say they're all top five gurus uh but definitely definitely uh i would personally wait on these um it's a supply and demand thing but um you know, if you're a new player, I know I know you're wanting to build a, a better band right at the get-go. Um, but just save your nux as much as you can. Uh, is this just personal advice? I mean, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but, you know, in the long run, um, the problem I see with it is that everything's going to get inflated in price. And then everyone's just going to be... Um, soft lock out of the game because everyone wants an outrageous amount of nux for everything then i'm gonna pick on this guy real quick um his stats 
Um, you know, I also said he's solid. Same thing. You know, he procs every turn, preempt elite, first priority. His speed is lacking for against any other preempt, uh, but his attack is decent. <clears throat> uh, what I'm going to compare it to is something I've bought before. Uh, something I had a good experience with is Ismaelion, uh, 5 out of 5 elite, preempt elite, uh, zero cooldown, 4,000 agility, almost 4,000 attack. Compared to uh, Murdad, you know, 4,400 attack and then 2,000 agility. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say that you know, have about four, almost 500 um, more attack. But his agility just wipes him out. His million will outspeed him any time of the day. Mostly any other preempt character will outspeed him any any day. Like even if you superfuse like the three best superfusing onto him, like it'd be silly to do it. But even then, maybe he could barely catch up to them. And even then, um, against premium preempt guys like Barthok with slacking, um. That it's just gonna slow him down by 25% of his agility worth and it's not gonna be worth it. Uh, this is a screenshot from back in the day. I pulled it up um, during September 19, so about a month ago. Um, you know, her five out of fives were 12 and that's that was pretty high even then. And here's another one for eight nucks. Sure, it's not fully leveled, and this one isn't either, but this one's definitely closer than this one. Um, so I'd expect the prices to be um, eight nucks maximum, like maybe even 10 for a fully leveled 80 out of 80, five out of five, um, five out of five Meridad. Uh, so his prices are wonky too. Yeah, so here he is available on market, uh, searching the terms, uh, 20 nucks, that's way overpriced, way overpriced. Um, you know, if, if she was actually like three nucks, um, or four per, per epic, uh, this would be kind of like a fair deal. Um, but even then, uh, this one, this one's like the only fair price I've seen in like forever. Um, I might pick it up actually, um, four nucks, four nucks. Okay. So, um, the prices are starting to stabilize. Actually, this one's super few, so it might be worth it. Um, let's check it out real quick. So I can tell that's like 2,000 attack worth of super fusions. Um, so, so the one that's 40 nuts, probably not worth it because there's literally one right here for 25. And this one is similar attack, like uh, literally 100 less. Uh, I'm probably gonna pick this one up actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna buy him um, just on camera fine whatever I picked him up and sure uh, Another thing I'm kind of overlooking is the edge, but this edge is not gonna, is, is definitely not gonna stay there forever It's gonna end literally the second the new event starts um, and he has oh Man, he has actually some crappy super fusion So at this rate it's probably not worth it, but oh well, I'll live and learn Honestly, I thought he had like melt or something. Um, the math added up, but um, even then, definitely, 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 um, this other one at 40 nucks, not worth it. Um, uh, these ones at 20 nucks, uh, not worth it. Thinking about it real quick and doing the math, um, the rate that I bought the other one, um, I literally just broke even. Uh, but considering that I don't have to level it up or um, spend any time leveling up any other super fusions up, even though these super fusions probably cost five nucks per, uh, so that's 15 um, minus 25, it's like 10 for the base. So yeah, I, I was probably willing to spend about 10 nucks, like I said earlier. So I'm breaking even, uh, but I'm definitely gonna use them next event and I might just sell them for like 20 or whatever, maybe the same price. Uh, this guy right here, he just came out as well. Um, actually, I have to look into this. That might be something worthwhile. Um, but this guy's definitely not worth more than three nucks per, M maybe like two, two is fair. Um, because his max stats, uh, he's a wisdom potter. He's way too slow to be a decent guru. The comparison I have to him is Baldwin. Uh, I can look up in the wiki. So this guy's max stat is, uh, 
6,500 um, on wisdom and then 2,000 speed which is way too slow and then right here we'll see a better uh, super fuse fodder and Baldwin at 7,000 wisdom uh, Baldwin goes for a solid 18 to 20 knocks all day long so that's why I definitely do not see this guy being worth more than two two and a half knucks per epic uh, as five out of five um the most I'd pay is 15 ready to get super fused as an 80 at 80 five out of five um and then I'd mock the price down according to super to self fusions and level um let's see this guy not worth your time uh, if you want to have them as a 5 out of 5 for your collection, uh, that's fine. Uh, that's a personal thing. Uh, this guy, his sprite looks cool. Um, but he's probably just going to be a tech fodder at best. Um, you know, you just start adding him to your collection. <clears throat> and then the legend. The legend's a whole story by herself. Um, I mean, one cooldown is pretty good. Uh, but she's really, really slow. I mean, you can try and put... Uh, agility super fusion, but that's way out of my budget. Uh, I'm not gonna put any time into that um, So I mean, I guess you could say I sold mines at an L at a loss I took an L on that, but I mean I'm fine Another thing I wanted to say is just just be patient if you can Because it's definitely worth it. Uh, this guy I wanted him forever since he came out He was worth 10 nucks per rare a total at 300 nucks per 5 out of 5 and then this was a while back this was actually last week um but i would always look at his prices then after um a while the same guy posted it at 270 but i didn't have nearly enough nucks for that uh and then even a, a, after that he knocked it down of 250 um uh, and i really wanted him that that seemed like a really appealing price to me uh but Again, I didn't have enough nucks for that. <sighs> Once again, it went even further down to 240. And I had one nucks at the time, you know, and I just, I just had to see him go. And I would, uh, you know, I'd always think someone else would pick him up. And eventually, eventually, once I had enough nucks to buy him, um, his price was knocked down at 200. And I snap bought it. As soon as I had enough nuts for it, I just snap bought it. There's no way. Um, this guy is mega amazing. He's definitely worth it. Um, just take down 600 uh, wisdom for the book. Or not 600. Actually, 360. And even then, he has uh, above 5,000 wisdom. Above 6,000 agility. And he has thwart. Thwart is the same rank as preempt. Not a lot of other gurus have that ability, especially not now in the current game as it is. There's only literally like a handful of other gurus with the ability to work. Uh, with that being said, his agility, he will outspeed any preamp guy any time of the day. Uh, you know, my Silics are really good, uh, but since he has more agility and they're... <clears throat> And they have, they both have separate, second priority um, skills. This guy's gonna beat up on my Silic line any day, any move, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> uh, unless he Silics or Super Fuse or whatever, or someone else has Super Fuse Silics. Unless he's going against Barthok, but I mean, those are just um, things that happen. But point is, just be patient just be patient save your nuts save your nuts as much as you can and you know i know it looks like i have an amazing band and i definitely uh do have a really solid band but i just try and save your nuts as much as you can i bought this guy like at about 100 this guy as well you know i've seen as a 2-2 with super fusions i've seen um an O. To Audric trying to sell for 90 and that's just way overpriced um, and you just just be patient uh, because you can find deals deals will eventually happen uh, just message people on the discord <clears throat> um, but just be patient I mean like if you sell your characters and you make 
uh, Nux out of it, you know, the in-game currency, then, you know, you made stonks on it. Um, but the other thing is, like I, like I was mentioning earlier, then then it's just, it's just going to be like a, a boat on water. Everything's going to rise up. And if you don't have your band set up, you know, everything's just going to skyrocket in price. And then it's going to be like, oh, you know, I, I sold mine for 10 Nux. You know, I sold my things for extra expensive, you know, so people are going to base themselves on that, you know, when people weren't patient. <clears throat> so just please be patient, be smart with your nuts, because it's, it's not easy to get them, um, you know, and, you know, eventually some things will come your way. Um, so, yeah, sorry about the long video. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to make it 10 minutes or shorter. Um, but I couldn't. Um, also, I'm going to squeeze in this uh, last build. Uh, the event is over. This is the last 100 build. Um, I never pulled anything good off of it. It's just crappy rares. <laughs> I do want more of him, but I just wish I would get other rares. Um, that thing's literally fodder, 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 <laughs> fodder, uh, literally fodder. Um, and that's it. You know, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you stay to the end, you're amazing. Um, you know, if you're watching, you know, like, I don't know. I'm just doing this for fun. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, I don't get that many views, but you know, whatever. It's, it's all for fun. Um, just really excited I can play this game, like, after so many years. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.